Yeah, Jamie, three big steps for Army officials today. First, to secure the site. Well, that's done. Now, a full safety investigation putting plans in place to make sure all of the equipment is properly removed. Good news, the blimp is in, quote, two mostly intact pieces. The main body and the tail section are a few hundred meters apart. The bad news, Army Captain Matthew Villa says, the wreckage is in trees along a ravine in an area difficult to access. It could be there for a while, maybe even weeks before the blimp is removed. So the terrain is uh, extremely steep. It's about, um, I would say, only about 500 yards down, but the, uh, the slope is, is, is greater than probably about 20 percent. So it's, it's a very steep slope. And like I said, there is no roads directly to the site. We know there are still very sensitive electronics at the site. The Army says while some things have been removed, 99 percent of the equipment is still there. They stress, though, that there is no health risk to the community. The radar-equipped blimp is fitted with sensitive defense technology. The second blimp, the one that did not break free, has been grounded until investigators can figure out what caused the Bontabor blimp to break free.